I am driving a little Greek car and I have little Greek coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, this coffee from McDonald's, it's a medium. This is a medium in Greece. Oh my God. But it's delicious. It's proper coffee. Way better than anything in North America. H how much did it cost? $2.30 euro. Sorry, 2 euro and 30 cents. Okay. A little expensive, I know. So, yeah, okay, in passing, okay, moving, that's what you say? Moving to the car part. Yes. This how is, do you like <laughs> the little car? It's a tiny, tiny car. It's a 2021 <laughs> Fiat. Uh, we don't really have cars this small back home. It's interesting. Yeah. It's very basic. It's fun. It's like driving a little go kart. <laughs> so it's a little bit bigger. Oh no, you can't see it. No, oh, we're not gonna be. You're gonna have to be. Sorry, you're gonna have to make a video after of the car. Of yeah. Of I'll the little car. Make a little. Uh... See, so, can you see the little one there? No, it's too far. Yeah, away. I think that's another Fiat. It's very similar to the one in front of us. It is, but that one is just. Uh... You can see it here. It's too far. And we're on our way to Meteora. Yeah! <laughs> As you can see, we're three and a half hours away. Pretty exciting. Seen some beautiful photos on uh, YouTube and Instagram. And I was kind of reading the history of the place. It looks very interesting. Um, basically, it's uh, monasteries that were built when the Turks were trying to invade Greece. Hope I got that right. Don't crucify me. Uh, figuratively, of course, if I'm correct. But, uh, yeah, so it seems uh, the history behind that whole monastery thing looks very interesting. And, uh, hope to learn more about uh, Meteora and how it came to be. To the road! <laughs> Hello. One toll, please. Thank you. How much was this toll? 390. Oh, <laughs> Four euro almost? Jesus. <laughs> it's getting more and more expensive the further away the, the car from the car The car rental was very cheap, but. Not the toll. Like, one tank of gas for this tiny car is 100 euro. <laughs> and the first. The first toll was two dollar thirty, and then the second toll was like three three thirty. Three thirty, and now this one was three ninety. <laughs> Giving me heart palpitations. <laughs> you want to see how fast this car can go? That's about it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you oh, want? look at that beautiful view. Very nice. We finally made it to Kastraki, the gateway to Meteora. Uh, it's very dark right now. It's only six something, like 6.15, 6.20. And we have to drive through these really narrow streets, which are quite the challenge. Just making sure I'm going the right way here, and I am. Yes, with our little, uh, little car that you've seen in the video. Anywho, pretty tired. Heading to the mini market to grab some breakfast items for the morning and then tomorrow I guess tonight we have to figure out which monasteries we want to see yeah we're, we're only here for one day but if you guys do come to Meteora you need like three but we just don't have the time because we have other plans as well and uh, just not enough time to see everything okay I'll see you in the morning when we head to Meteora this is what it's like driving on the side streets of Meteora. Doesn't get much more narrow than this. Thank God we're driving the Fiat Panda. <laughs> okay, we're at top of one of these little uh, rock formations. This is Varla Monastery here. And I don't know if you guys can hear this, but there's monks chanting in the background. Uh, we're just going to get our tripod set up here for some sunrise photos 
of Varlon Monastery. And uh, yeah, go from there. See if we can get some nice photos. And then after that, check out some of these monasteries. They're incredible. I'm gonna do a panoramic here. Absolutely amazing spot here. I think the sun's coming up from that way, so I don't know how good the photos will be. Alrighty, we're still uh, taking photos here at Meteora. Uh, it's probably close to 10, if not 10 already. Uh, got some nice drone shots too from up here. Isabel's getting her tripod ready to take a photo of us. And I just wanted to share this uh, panoramic here. Incredible place. And these monasteries, I, the ingenuity to build something like that on top of these rock formations is just 
Blows the mind. Blows the mind. We're going to head into our first monastery here, the Barlong Monastery. Nine, nine to three. They're open today. They're closed every Thursday and Friday. In these monasteries, they're closed like random days of the week. So some are closed on Friday, some are closed on Wednesday. Some you get are, the idea. Some are closed three days a week. Yeah. Today, I think they're all open. Yeah, we're lucky we're here on a Monday, so I think they're all pretty much open. I think. This is very cool. Look at that, they just chiseled all this rock. Look at this pathway. Incredible. And there it is, guys. Right there. <laughs> going up the stairs, I love it. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah, we're going up the stairs on this one. And we're going to cross a huge bridge with those plants. Yeah. Awesome. Looking forward to it. Oh, look, they have rope there too, going up to that little, I don't know what you call that, little tower maybe? reached the door. I think I'm gonna have to stop talking from here on out. It's a monastery so I'm assuming we have to be quiet. Probably everyone's like oh good shut up. <laughs> so Isabel here had to buy a skirt because women cannot wear pants in the monastery. They have to wear a skirt on top of the pants. I think you can eat more skirts. <laughs> Isabella has her skirt on. Looking very good. These guys don't have much of a sense of humor, do they? <laughs> Well, that's the end of our little tour of the Varlam Monastery here in Meteora. Meteora, sorry. Um, 
I've seen some pretty crazy things in my life. I've traveled a lot, so I've been to a lot of museums and churches and religious places, you know, whether it be in India or Indonesia or Nepal, you know, various churches, you know, Christian related all over Latin America, etc., etc. But I've never seen such a violent orchestra of paintings before. We weren't allowed to film there. Unfortunately, I don't have the video. But if you guys Google this Greek Orthodox thing, and I'm not 100% sure what these guys are all about, but pretty damn violent. <laughs> yeah, I don't think out of any religion I've ever seen one this violent. It's just like depictions of people getting chopped, like beheaded, arms and limbs, you know, impaled, everything. They had these paintings in the in the church there yeah like a dragon or a snake eating people alive like that's where they're like what the hell like, what, 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 what? And the, and the devil has like a, like a clip and thing on his lap yeah there was one where the guy had like a like a basket of babies the building itself is amazing yeah very, it's pretty nice very incredible <laughs> but like I, I i was just picturing living and believing this sort of stuff like I mean, it can't be very good for you mentally. Anyway, probably gonna get a lot of heat for this, but whatever. Stopped uh, for another quick photo. Look at all these cute little kittens. Hello. Hello, kitty. All right, I'm gonna grab that photo. Yeah. <laughs>